Hi everyone, Greg here, and look, I've got Patrick with me again. How you going, guys? I love that accent. <laughs> uh, and today we're doing another kebab review. We do love our kebabs, don't we? Love my kebabs. Oh yeah. And uh, well, uh, we decided we're going to go to Origin Kebabs at Parkwood. And it's got a 3.3 Google star rating. So we'll go and grab one and then we'll, well, give it our own Google star rating. Let's go, can't wait. All right, well, here we go. The Origin Kebab. Now this one, uh, there was a small, large and jumbo. Uh, we got the large one, it was $9.30 each. I got the, well, the garlic sauce. It was a lamb kebab with garlic sauce and a bit of chili and the standard lettuce, tomato and onion. what do you get? I got a bit of a variety of things. I got hummus and tahini. I got garlic yogurt. Opted out with the tomato, not a massive tomato fan, uh, but I went for carrot instead. I'm a massive carrot fan. Oh, loves the shape of the carrots, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's tuck on in. Take a look inside of that one. Yep. Mmm. Yep, it looks a bit hollow from here. There seems to be a lot of bread and not a lot of filling. Yeah. But uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, well, it didn't look like there was a lot of filling in it. Uh, for a large, it looks like there's a... Uh, looks like the small. Yeah, exactly right. Oh, yeah. But, uh, hey, it looks could be deceiving and it could be really tasty. Oh, well, let's see. It's hard to get my mouth around. Yeah, I've yeah, got a snake jaw like no, the old Grego. I don't have a snake jaw like the old Grego. No. Looks like a lot of uh, bread in that first bite. Yeah, a little bit disappointed. There's a lot of bread and i got hardly any filling. I might have to go in for a second bite. You do that. A little bit more filling as you can see here. Round two. Considerably better. Uh, still a lot of bread. It's a lot of a bready taste. Could have been packed a lot more, a lot more sauce, but we'll keep going and we'll we'll see what happens. I'm interested to see how yours went. Let's have a go. Have a look in there. Looks all like right. A... Well, that looks all right. It still uh, looks quite bready, I think. Looks like a similar problem to mine. Yeah. Too much pastry, not enough tastiness. <laughs> Too much pastry, not enough tasty. Yes. Put that on a shirt. Oh yeah. Well, uh, let's go. Oh, the snake jaw in action. See, that's well, that's well packed. That's what she said. Mm. Way better than mine. You they, reckon? I think they knew you were coming, mate. Ah, I don't know. I've got a lot of pastry. Mmm. But the meat, mm. it's got a bit of a, um, a bit of a like a Mexican sort of taste to me. Yeah, it does, like a fajita seasoning, almost. Mm. Whatever that is. Yeah, sort of tastes, um, yeah, like a, well, like taco seasoning. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Mm. How's the sauce? Can you taste any sauce? Um, well, I did watch her make it and she did put some sauce on there today, but it, it didn't look like a lot and there's none in the bottom so of the no bag. So no leaky bottom? No leaky bottom. Um, another kebab place that probably hasn't put enough sauce on. Mm, seems really dry. Mm. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there. I'm just not digging it. But I'll eat it all. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, let's check in for a progress report, Pat. Yeah, look, you know, as I've kept going, it's getting a little bit better. There is a little bit more sauce. It's becoming less breadier, but still, it is pretty average. The flavor is not really there for me, and it's pretty ordinary. But I'm hungry, I'm in good company, and we're outside in this beautiful park, so I'm making the most of it. But, yeah, it's... Uh, it's not doing it for me, to be honest. And what about the sauce, though? Can you taste those sauces? Yeah, I ordered the hummus uh, and tahini and the yogurt and garlic sauce, which are my favourite sauces. And honestly, you would I couldn't even tell they were there. Like, i having a look if I have a soggy bottom. Yeah, see if yours is. Nah. No. Nah. Dry. So no leakage. And, uh, yeah, pretty dry. Not what I want to see. I mean, I don't want it to be swimming with juice, but... You, you do want to you do want to taste it otherwise it's just a bunch of dry vegetables in bread and no one wants that no so yeah I, I, I wished more I had higher hopes to be honest I had higher hopes oh, that's the story of our lives <laughs> Grego just do a quick uh, progress report um, how's the sauciness in, in your kebab mate well I did get the hot chili and well my mouth is tingling from the heat in here there was quite a quite a decent amount of hot chili in this uh, but uh, the garlic yogurt, mate, I can't taste it, and it's just pretty dry, and like you said, it's just a bit of meat and veg wrapped in a piece of bread and with no real uh, excitement about it or flavours that are, that are giving it a wow factor. There's no wow factor. That's really sad. Can we have a look inside? You know it. Yeah, still dry. A lot of bread on the left-hand side. You can see a little speckle of red there from the chili, but yeah, no garlic yogurt. Yeah. It's disappointing. It would have uh, tempered that heat quite well, wouldn't it? You'd think it would have. Uh, but yeah, not enough sauce on this kebab. So, I don't know. It's, it's got the 3.3 Google star rating. I wonder what star rating we'll give it. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh -huh. All right, well, it's score time out of five Gregos. So, what do we think about that kebab? What? Yeah, I don't think you enjoyed your kebab, did you? Look, I'll be honest, it wasn't the best. Uh, it was lacking three of them primary kebab qualities that make a good kebab. Oh. Solid tasting meat, good sauce distribution, yeah. and not a huge amount of bread. Uh. And unfortunately, none of those three variables were present today. So that's going to be reflective in my score. Okay, yeah, I thought it was uh, very underwhelming. And I didn't really enjoy it that much at all. The meat tasted funny, there was really no sauces there, and it was uh, pretty boring, bland, and uh, very average. So, uh, what score? How many Grego stars will I give it? Well, uh, it's got a three point, what, three? Mm, that's pretty. That's pretty low, pretty and there's, there's a good reason why it's that low. It's because they're crap. It's pretty generous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it a 1.9 Gregos out of 5 stars. Uh, I'm going to give it a 1.75. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was uh, very, very average that one. Uh, so there you go, orange and kebab at Parkwood here on the Gold Coast. But if you're a uni student, they are close to the uni. So if you want to whip down for a kebab, I reckon it'd be, they, got, they had some good uni deals there. They did, you have to show your ID though. For, they oh, had yeah, what, true. a kebab, oh they had a... Kebab, chips and a drink. For... 950. 950. Yeah, that's alright. Yeah. And they had a small snack pack I too. For like six bucks or something. That's it. A mini HSP they called it. Mini HSP. We'll have to go and get one. I hope this was very educational for you and you learnt a good lesson on how not to make a kebab. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for us hard scorers here. Yeah. Until next time it was a pleasure. See you then. See you mate. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are